Space is a marvel. Countless things are hidden within the great unknown, so much to discover, to learn, to find. As humans, we are so determined to find all there possibly is to find. Knowledge has always been the moving factor that has kept us going throughout the centuries. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three extraordinary cosmic discoveries. Astronomers discover massive radio galaxy 100 times larger than the Milky Way. Space is massive. Recently, astronomers uncovered a radio galaxy so colossal it overshadows our own Milky Way by a shocking 100 times in size. Alcinius is the name given to the galaxy in question. It lies an estimated 3 billion light years away from Earth. The galaxy has gained its name from the Greek figure Alcyoneus, who was the son of the Hellenic primordial sky god Uranus. The Leiden University of the Netherlands claims that the discovery was a stroke of luck, as numerous discoveries tend to be. More often than not, the greatest discoveries are made when we are not even searching for them. Alcyoneus is what is referred to as a radio galaxy. This means that there exists a huge black hole within the very center of it that emits two rays of pure radio wave energy out of its core, known within scientific circles as an active galactic nucleus. This active galactic nucleus is formed when the black hole consumes matter around it. With the usage of the European Wide Web of Low Frequency Array Telescopes, known more commonly as LOFAR, scientists were able to discover two immense rays of pure plasma erupting from what appeared to them to be a typical supermassive black hole. It was not until they researched further that they found that these streams of radio energy were up to 16 million light years in length, if not longer. In comparative terms, this is the equivalent of 100 Milky Ways put together. But even that is lesser than the true extent of these plasma jets. The official scientific statement calls it one of the largest galactic structures found in the cosmos so far. One of the materials which erupted from these plasma streams are materials used in the formation of new stars. Because of its intense speed that nearly challenges the speed of light, the star-building chemical is under immense heat pressure which causes it to dissolve into plasma, which is what we see with radio light. This plasma radiates a glare that is visible to the LOFAR detectors. The reasoning behind why astronomers were not able to detect this galaxy until now is because the plasma jets are difficult to see. As they say, it was a lucky discovery. This, of course, is not the only radio jet ever discovered. It is certainly one of the largest, but others have been found in the past, even in our very own galaxy. The true mystery lies in how Alcyoneus grew into its size and structure. The first theory was that it was a result of the supermassive black hole or an extreme concentration of stardust in the galaxy. Even the plasma jets themselves could have increased the size of the galaxy, and yet, in its fellow radio galaxies, these factors are common and do not add to their sizes. Alcyoneus is an utterly interesting discovery to have been made as it could very well reshape our fundamental understanding of the cosmos in which we thrive. It might also help us understand the theory of the cosmic web wherein galaxies are interconnected yet separated by gaps of nothingness. Scientists are planning on focusing further research into Alcyoneus and to try and track down the origin of its incredible size and how it was formed. Asteroid named Electra is found to have three companion moons. 200 years ago, astronomers discovered an asteroid in the vast night skies. Now, in the 21st century, we have finally identified and analyzed it. And what we found is extraordinary. Electra, known formally as 130 Electra, is not just a mere lone asteroid. On the contrary, the asteroid is accompanied by three tiny moons of its own constantly traveling with the asteroid. These natural satellite moons are unlike anything we have ever witnessed before. In the words of Anthony Bordeaux of Thailand's National Astronomical Research Institute, Electra is the first quadruple system ever detected. This new detection shows that dedicated data reduction and processing algorithms modeling the physics of the instruments can push their contrast limits further. 
Never before has an asteroid been found with so many companion moons, which poses the question of how many such asteroid systems exist out there in the vastness of the universe. Bordeaux also stated, it will provide crucial information about planetary formation and evolution of our own solar system. It is not completely out of the realm of possibility for asteroids to have one, maybe two small companion satellites, but spotting them is extremely rare precisely due to their stature. Only 150 out of 1,100,000 asteroids identified possess a recognized moon. Electra is 160 miles across and was uncovered in 1873, traveling across Mars and Jupiter. It took 130 years to find its first moon in 2003, and dubbed S-2003. S-2014, as the name suggests, was found in 2014. The smaller the moon, the fainter its presence can be detected. S-2014 was more than 15,000 times dimmer than Electra, hence why it took so long to find it, as well as the recently found third moon, which has not yet been accurately nor properly measured. With the usage of the SPHERE instrument, Bordeaux's researchers utilized the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, running it through data reduction programs. Because of this, they were able to remove cosmic background noise from the data. The data algorithms were able to assist the researchers in increasing the glow of the moons, which is how they managed to find Electra's third moon. What we lack, however, is information as to how these systems were created. Cleopatra is an asteroid discovered a while back that we believe to be formed from the debris of another, larger mass, be it a planet's moon or even perhaps a destroyed planet. At this current moment in time, it is unknown whether such things are common or not. Earth's magnetic field almost disappeared 565 million years ago. Earth's magnetic field is crucial for our continual survival. It serves us well and, through the aeons, has protected us from solar and interstellar harm. Therefore, it might be frightful to know that at one point in history, this vital shield from the wild, unknown of space almost faded away into nothingness. Without the magnetic field, Earth would be exposed to solar winds, plasma streams that flow across our solar system from the sun, and space radiation. It is believed that when it nearly disappeared over 565 million years ago, it was salvaged due to a geological miracle where the Earth's core started to solidify while strengthening the decreasing field. By investigating geological crystals, some of which are smaller than grains of sand, researchers were able to successfully analyze our planet's core at that era. Plagioclase and clinoproxene are two minerals that were conveniently created 565 million years ago and are most widely found in Quebec, Canada. With samples of these minerals, ranging from 50 to 100 nanometers in size, scientists discovered that when they are placed into the molten rock, they face the direction of the magnetic field no matter if they are shaken or moved, like a compass. They always face the magnetic direction. In the words of John Tarduno, who works as a professor at the University of Rochester in New York, those tiny magnetic particles are ideal magnetic recorders. When they cool, they lock in a record of Earth's magnetic field that's maintained for billions of years. By analyzing these minerals inside of the magnetometer, Scientists understood that these crystals had been incredibly low charge, suggesting that 565 million years ago, the planet's magnetic field was significantly weaker than it is now. Up to 10 times weaker, in fact, the lowest ever documented. According to Tarduno, all this evidence points to the field being extremely unusual. We were at this critical point where the dynamo almost collapsed completely. The dynamo mentioned refers to the geodynamo, which is the function that maintains our magnetic field and keeps it from disappearing. Without the dynamo, the field would not exist. The Earth's core used to be entirely liquid. However, at some unknown point in history, anywhere from 2.5 to 500 million years ago, 
The core solidified in the core's center, meaning the various materials like magnesium, oxygen, and silicon were forcibly pushed out into the outer edges of the core, starting a process known as convection. Convection keeps particles charged and moving, which in turn causes an electric current, and in turn strengthening the magnetic field by energizing it. The convection that is still supporting the field to this day and will do for billions of years in the future. According to Peter Driscoll, a planetary scientist from Washington, D.C., stated the inner core may have occurred right in the nick of time to recharge the geodynamo and save Earth's magnetic shield. This era was followed by the Cambrian explosion that caused animals to spread across the world and evolve into far more intricate beings. Tarduno claims one can speculate, and there have been some speculations, that a weaker magnetic field may have some relationship to these evolutionary events. The theory follows that as a result of the weakening magnetic field, the radiation from space was able to flow into the atmosphere which in turn might have increased chances of mutating animals and species, but also being their catalyst for further evolution. This is an unproven claim. A theory is merely a theory until enough evidence shines through, but it is certainly an interesting outlook. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.